Hey guys, this is Beck. Welcome to my messy desk. Um, this uh, is a project that I did. It's an ultra project um, for storage on my desk when I finally get into my craft room. This is uh, just four drawers. Uh, let me explain what I did. Uh, it was this color, just plain wood, and all I did was I sanded the whole thing. Um, not very well because <laughs> if you look real close, I missed a spot of sanding altogether, but it turned out okay, so I'm not complaining. <coughs> then I removed all the drawers. Now let me show you. I didn't, I didn't um, finish the drawers in any way, shape, or form because I did on one of my other projects, and then I couldn't close the drawer anymore. So I ended up having to throw that one completely away and start over. Um, smells like wood on the inside. I didn't line it with paper or anything like that. I just left it blank. Nobody's going to see the inside of it anyway. I'm not really worried about that. Um, but me and maybe my nosy partner, if she ever comes to my craft room. Anyway, what I did was I took off the handles. It's really easy to do because see, they got like, it looks like, kind of works like brads. They just slide off just like that. And what I did was because they were pure black, and pure black didn't go with with uh, the colors that I wanted to use. So I took um, Rub and Buff and Antique Gold, and I just started smooshing it on um, anywhere, letting the black shine through randomly. And um, to me, it gave it like the, that antique look with kind of a tarnish to it. And I liked the way that looked, so I left it alone. Um, the drawers, I used metallic, um, metallic white on the inside, and, um, on the, the first coat, I used metallic white, after I guess I did, I'm sorry, <coughs> and then I covered it with Sahara Gold, um, folk art paint, and then I used One Step Crackle by Deco Art. This is my favorite crackle. Um, it works the best. It crackles the best. Um, I can show you other things that I've crackled with it. It it just it crackles so much better than anything else that I've used. And it really doesn't take that much effort to make it crackle. Um, anyway, I wanted the drawers to be contrasting, so I made them like really gold. And then I used uh, these uh, Recollections brown flowers. I adhered, I adhered all the, the embellishments on this whole piece with uh, glossy accents. And anyway, I got the, the three color brown flowers from Michaels. They were on clearance for $3 then. They're now like $2, but I bought all the ones that were in my Michaels. Oh. Um, these are Tim Holtz sprockets and philosophy tags. And let me put this back in so I can put the drawer back in. Uh... I say uh, a lot, sorry. <coughs> but it's much better than coughing in your ear when I say uh. At any rate, there's four drawers to this, so I figured to keep it balanced and to keep it interesting looking in the front and well as when it's facing me, um, I would alternate the sides that the embellishments were on. Um, this one says, this one's philosophy tag says imagine it's got the little sprocket. This one says inspire. And my hair is like attached to this thing like constantly. Aliens. Good grief. Anyway, my hair falls out all the time. I'm sorry. You'll see it stuck to all kinds of stuff I do. Anything that has glue especially. Um, inspire, artful, and altered. Um, yeah. Then the paint job on the on the the outer box. What I did was I took the Sahara gold and I, I put it down, and then I made a wash out of the uh, metallic white. When it's placed over that Sahara gold, it gives it like a shimmery silver look, but it doesn't completely cover the the Sahara. And then I crackled it. Um, I really like the crackled look. I really like the way that it, it turned out. I did not crackle the bottom because crackle is expensive. It's like two bucks for um, one bottle, so I didn't crackle the bottom of it, I only crackled the parts that you would be able to see, so that's all I did for that, and then because 
even though this part faces me when I'm sitting at my desk, there's the back of it is going to face my door. So what I did was I decorated the back. Um, this is graphic 45 paper, um, steampunk debutante. She's got all those gears for her head and I thought that was cool looking. Now the hardest part of this whole thing was to get the glossy accents to drip. I don't know if you can see this here and here, but to get the glossy accents to drip, you have to kind of wait till it dries just a little bit and then tip it forward before you put any embellishments on. You have to tip it forward until you get it to the place that you want it to, to drip to, and then you have to turn it back over so it stays. That part was the hardest part. I had to scrape it off and do it like twice because one time it it curved and it went over this way and then one time it it kind of wouldn't move i don't know if glossy accents is thicker than other paint but i wanted or other glues or what it was but i wanted it to make it look like it was leaking oil because the gears and the sprockets and stuff are here i wanted it to look like it was leaking oil so that was the hardest part of it the other hard part of it was getting this paper on here with mod podge Mod Podge is not exactly what I would call a forgiving medium when you put it on there um, and you place your paper on there and I actually cut my paper a little too short but you know I don't measure anything I just cut it and see if it fits. Um, getting the paper on there and getting it with no bubbles was difficult. I had to keep sliding my fingers over it and, and really working it to get it to be flat and not bubbly. It is a little streaky because I didn't have any um, sponge applicated thingies. I don't think I have any laying right here. Maybe I do. These. I didn't have any of these, so I couldn't use it to brush on. I had to actually use a real brush, so there's some streaks in it, but this is mine, and it's for me, so I don't really care if it has streaks in it. I created it. It's supposed to look like I made it, so I'm good with that. Um, like, what did I say? Oh, did I tell you about the, the glossy accent drips? They were so hard. Anyway, getting them the way I wanted them to be was really hard. But uh, as soon as it was done, I really liked the way that it looked. It really did look like it was oil dripping, and I liked that. Um, these are Recollections Mulberry Paper Flowers that I bought on clearance one time. These are the, um, underneath here, you can see them some sprockets and a philosophy tag that says Wander and Simplify. Nothing I do is ever sim simple. So I put Simplify to remind me that I need to. Um, I put three at the top, three at the bottom, three at the top, three at the bottom, three at the top, three at the bottom, and then one and one. Um, I think that everything that I do needs to have a balance to it. Otherwise, it'll just be a chaotic mess. So um, that's uh, the back of the box. That's my favorite. This has been my favorite project so far. I really like the, the steampunk Debbie Punk Taunt paper. Um, I don't really know what else I'm going to use it on other than decorations for my craft room though because it's not really a paper that I would use for scrapbooking. Um, I love it for altered stuff and, and definitely I don't think that <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do the, the glossy accent drips again but it was an idea that I had at that moment and I wanted to do it so I tried it and I think that it worked out okay. and. Um, I'd like to know what you think. If you want to comment and let me know what you think of this project, um, I would love that. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> that would be even more awesome. Uh, if you have ideas to make anything better that we've done or any ideas of stuff that you want to see, comment, let us know. We um, definitely would like to know because sometimes our ideas dry up and we don't exactly have the ideas that we need but this is my favorite project so far that I've done um, this one and the catch-all that I did are my favorites but this one is by far my favorite favorite anyway this has been back this is my messy desk um, have a great night guys